Alright hey guys and welcome back to another anime figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the recently released SH Fig Arts Golden Freezer based off the film Resurrection F. Okay now I've very much been looking forward to getting this figure in the post. Um, I pre-ordered it about three months ago and uh, since then some of the anime figure websites have sold out and restocked though the price has gone up um, a lot since then which is uh, quite common for the SH Fig Arts uh, Dragon Ball Z figures. Now the first thing I noticed when I got this box out of the postage box, and um, it might be hard to tell on the camera here, and that is just how small the box is. I mean, um, if you look at it compared to the size of my hand here, it is tiny. Uh, it's much smaller than the box that the uh, SH Fig Arts Final Form Freezer that I reviewed uh, about a year ago come in. So they've obviously done a reduction in box size, but I'm sure the um, figure is the same size as the final form freezer. Though we're going to do a little comparison to the two as the video goes along. So anyway, that's the outer box done. Let's get straight on with the inner box. Okay, now we'll move on to the actual packaging for the figure itself. Uh, we're going to just do a quick once over this packaging before we get Freezer himself out and have a look at some of the cool poses we can put him in. So you've of course got the SH Fig Arts logo at the top left there, uh, Golden Freezer underneath. You've got the Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F logo at the bottom here. Here is the authentication sticker here on the right, I'm sure you can see that. You obviously want to make sure that uh, this figure has that authentication sticker there, so you avoid picking up a uh, bootleg. Uh, it says ages 15 and up underneath. You've got a pretty cool illustration here of Golden Freezer, which looks really nice, very menacing. Moving to the back, I'll come forward a bit, you should be able to pick up the right in there if you want to read that. So we've got simple style and heroic action. Uh, we've got SH Figures is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai action figure ART under the theme pursuing character expression through humanoid action. And here's some of the poses you can have Freezer in. So you've obviously got his very iconic uh, powering up form. You got like a sort of rumble there. Um, it doesn't come with any noise effects. This figure, unfortunately, so that's all sort of just you have to imagine that part. You've got another one here, and you've got Freezer fighting Goku here. So if you've obviously got the SH Fig Arts uh, Goku from uh, Resurrection F, then you'll be able to create some uh, really awesome um, fighting sequences there. And you've got a couple of uh, pictures of the faces that you can have Freezer in. You've got a laughing one there and a serious face. Uh, underneath that it says a full array of interchangeable hand and face parts that allow you to expressive portrayal of Golden Freezer. So yeah, uh, not much else to say. Um, you can probably already read the other bits, you don't need me to say them out. So uh, yeah, there's a little illustration of Freezer. So that's the box done, let's get Freezer out for a closer look. Okay, now before I set Freezer up, I just want to show you everything that you actually get in this figure. So you've of course got Golden Freezer here in the middle. You've got a choice of five hands. The two ones that are already attached to him, he has his fists clenched. You've got these two where his palms open. And the bottom left one here is in his iconic uh, death beam um, attack. You've got a choice of four heads. Three on the left here and the one attached. And you've got his golden towel. Now the figure does come with some instructions. And it is in English and Japanese as well, which is uh, very helpful. Uh, some of the, well, the SH figure arts figures themselves can be a little bit fiddly, so this uh, comes in handy. Um, I find it pretty funny, actually, that you've got uh, all these heads uh, here with the detailing what type of uh, expression it is uh, he's making here. I mean, um, chances are if you're buying this figure, you've already watched the film and you like it, and you're obviously, or you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, and you kind of understand that that is a normal face. That's obviously a smirking face. You've got laughing and you've got Shan, but um, yeah, I think that's pretty funny. Yeah. A bit more. There's nothing else on the inside. So, uh, that's everything else done. Let's get him set up for some closer looks. And here is Golden Freezer. Now, first thing you might notice, and that is just how shiny he is. He is literally golden with shininess. And, and I really do like that. I really love that you've got different uh, colours of shadings of gold on here. It really makes him look uh, that much more unique and sort of special. But yeah, the, um, they've used a really glossy style type of golden paint. And it really shows because you can just see how shiny he is. Um, 
So yeah, this is essentially just bog standard freezer I've got out of the box. I've attached his towel. He's a little bit tricky to get the stand up, but he's not impossible. Um, of course, he's obviously a very tiny figure, but then, of course, Freezer is a small character. As you can see, just comparing it to the size of my hand here, you can see he is tiny. But I try to zoom in as much as I can without it blurring, so you can look at the detail. I mean, they've done a really exceptional job on detail here for such a small figure. I really do like it. So you've got Freezer's sort of uh, standard face there. So as you can see, you can notice the different colours of gold there. Obviously his chest is different to his arm colours. And then you've got the parts around his wrist that are a different colour gold. really do like that. Coming down to his feet. Uh, the parts that I sort of had a little go uh, popping in and out as I was uh, opening from the packaging was really firm and easy so uh, it didn't feel like anything was going to sort of uh, break or I had to apply any sort of pressure. Let me just zoom back a bit. Pick him up. He gets a closer look at his back. His towel there. You can move the towel in uh, any sort of position you want. I've just sort of got it like there. It was sort of uh, easier to stand holding the, it up like that because of uh, the weight of his towel. So if you're displaying him, you might want to just sort of rest him on something because he is a little bit hard to stand. But if you do a little playing around with him, he's not so not, not too bad. And how about Freezer about to do an iconic death beam? As you can see, I've changed his head to the laughing expression, and I've got his uh, right hand now as the pointing finger, just getting ready to do that death beam. Uh, the articulation is great on this thing. You can essentially move anything. His head, his arms, his elbows, his hands, the feet, the knees, everything. The towel you can move in any direction you uh, so wish. Uh, comparing it to the uh, final form figures freeze or even a year ago this is definitely a huge improvement to how this uh, thing can move uh, I had many problems just uh, moving the final form freezer uh, basically because whenever you try to move some bits they would just so easily fall out but um, these are really firmly in there and you can still move them about here without putting any pressure on them and it doesn't feel like they're going to fall off. It's a huge improvement on the uh, SH figure arts uh, range in uh, my opinion. Okay, how about a shouting freezer? As you can see I've got his uh, legs and arms open as if he's saying like, give me your best shot. So, um, it's pretty funny, I mean, you can create any sort of pose you want with these sort of figures. And if you've got any of the other characters and you can really create some iconic moments from... Um, uh, Resurrection F, or you can create a completely newer scenario if you so wish. Uh, you're not tied down to uh, any restrictions. And here's another one of Golden Freezer. Now I did try to get him to do his iconic powering up pose, but as soon as I was uh, trying to move one of his legs behind the other, he was just falling over all the time, and um, yeah, I just gave up. I'm sure if you put a little bit of patience into it, or if you was going to lean him up against something, you could easily pull it off. But um, yeah, now I did say I was going to do a little comparison to the SH Figarts Final Form Freezer. And here he is. And as you can see, I've got him in the uh, iconic, uh, he's going to murder Krillin pose on the cliff face. And uh, something I wasn't so sure that I mentioned at the very start of this video with how small the box is, I did say I thought they were going to be about the same size. But um, as you can see, Final Form Freezer is actually a bit bigger than Golden Freezer. If I pick him up, put him next to it, you can actually see... He He's not much smaller, but um, you can definitely tell there's a size difference between the two. So I didn't actually know until I uh, got the uh, Final Form Freezer down here for a little look, but um, you can definitely see there is a size difference there. But um, overall, I'm uh, very satisfied with Golden Freezer. It's definitely a even though he is smaller and technically you do get um, a lot less accessories compared to Final Form Freezer Fig Arts because you obviously have the cliff face and he has a lot more uh, hands and feet options you can choose with him but um, in terms of quality and ease of uh, manoeuvrability the Gold Freezer is a huge improvement over it so um, if you can definitely get hold of this figure I mean if you're a fan of Gold Freezer or Resurrection F this is definitely one to pick up and uh, I would highly recommend it. 
Okay, here's a comparison to another Golden Freezer figure that I picked up about a month ago. Um, now, I really did like this figure when I first got it, but when you compare it to the uh, SH Figure Arts Golden Freezer, you can just see how much better the uh, SH Figure Arts Freezer looks. Obviously, the most notable difference is the paint job. Um, comparing it to this one, this one looks very dull compared to how shiny and glossy Freezer appears. Um, so yeah, not that there's anything like wrong with this figure. This is actually a pretty cheap figure to uh, pick up, uh, comparing it to the other Golden Freezer figures that's out there. But um, if you wanted to get a, a Golden Freezer comparing it to these two, I would definitely say the SH Figure Arts uh, takes the crown on that one. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this video review, guys. Um, I would definitely recommend picking this figure up. Um, I will admit, before I got this figure, I wasn't very much a big fan of the figure arts figure range. Um, but after getting this new one, I can see just how much they've improved the quality of the figures. It's definitely made me uh, more of a fan of the figure arts figure range. And um, I will probably definitely be looking into getting some more of them. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video review guys. If you like this video then uh, please give me a thumbs up, I really do appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel then come uh, and check out some of my other playlists on my channel. I have uh, many other anime figure reviews on my channel, including obviously Dragon Ball Z and many other anime series. Take care of yourselves guys, and see you on the next video review. Thanks for watching.